Here with reaction to all of that is the Justice, uh, to the Justice Department's new unmasking probe. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy now joins us. Thanks so much for being here, uh, Leader McCarthy. First, can you react to Bill Barr now bringing on John Bash to look into this issue of unmasking? Where do you see all of this going next, Leader? Well, every day we learn something more, that more and more individuals were unmasked. These are American citizens. And I think it's appropriate what the Attorney General is doing because we need to get to the bottom of this. The more we learn, unfortunately, we find that the Obama administration was more interested in unmasking Flynn than securing masks for the national stockpile. And that's a real concern to every American. You know, you go back to the words there of the DOJ uh, spokesperson, Kerry Kupak, in um, making the, the point that certainly um, this is not inherently wrong to have done the unmasking or to unmask, uh, but she is pointing out the obvious. It's the frequency that is being questioned and the motivation behind it. What specific questions do you have as this moves forward, Leader? Well, the question is it is not wrong to go after an American citizen, but think of the timing of when they did it. They did it after the election, after it was decided that we're going to have a new president, a new administration, and the past administration in that little time period while they are still in power in January before the swearing in of January 20th, spends their time unmasking not one, but we have the vice president, who is now stuck in a basement, basement Biden. Then you moved on to ambassadors presidents and others in there, in their daily briefing, asking to unmask individuals who have been going into a new administration that was duly elected. Why? Why then? Why unmask these American citizens? Why would this administration do that at the same time when their own intelligence knew that what was being said about them, about Russia, was false and wrong and giving the American public a false narrative, lying to them? at the same time. That is concerning to me, not as a Democrat, not as a Republican, but as an American who believes in the rule of law. That should not happen to any American, let known an uh, individual such as Flynn, who had served his nation. Trying to discredit this individual was wrong from the start, mm -hmm. and using the power of the Oval Office to do it? That, to me, we need to get to the bottom of, because the rule of law. All right. Should we be will the see where one uh, part Bill that we Barr all and in. now John Bash. We'll see where John Bash gets with all of that. Meanwhile, you saw firsthand what happened with Nancy Pelosi yesterday, yanking that vote on the FISA bill after the president threatened to veto uh, it. Nancy Pelosi sort of previewing uh, previewing what may be to come in all of that. Here's Nancy Pelosi. There are different views and perspectives up here in terms of remote voting. Uh, we've all tried very hard to work in a bipartisan fashion. Being present doesn't necessarily require physical presence. I think that remote operations are possible. But that is not the path that the Democrats have gone down. What the Democrats have done, instead of working with us, is use this crisis to try to gain partisan benefit. So we'll get back to the, the, the pulling of the FISA uh, vote yesterday and where that goes next in a second. But what you just heard there was from your colleague Liz Cheney. She's not opposed uh, to the proxy voting, but she's making it clear that this can happen in many different ways. I know you, uh, Leader McCarthy, are firmly opposed to it. Your thoughts? Well, no, let, let me be clear. Liz Cheney is opposed to proxy voting. She joined me in a lawsuit against the Democrats. Everybody should be opposed to proxy voting. Almost one-third of the Democrats did not show up for work yesterday, but they'll still get their paycheck. More than 50 million Americans did not have a voice on that floor. Democrats signed a piece of paper that said they were physically unable to come to Congress. But Charlie Chris was able to, even though that he signed that paper, to go to the launch across the state. So he lied to his own constituents. He lied under oath to those members that are in Congress themselves. And think for one moment, 231 years we have never done this. Through yellow fever of 1793, through the Civil War, 
through the Spanish flu, even when the building was burnt down in the War of 1812, 9-11, we should convene, the Constitution says we should. It is only ability of Nancy Pelosi to try to be, have more power. Her own words yesterday on the floor, if you're able to get them, she says this is an opportunity. Every crisis is. She's taking a crisis as an opportunity to secure more power for herself and allow only 20 people to control the entire floor. That's unconstitutional. They do not have the power and the right to do it, and all Americans should stand up against this. Got it. And, and in terms of, of, of Cheney not being opposed to it, what I meant was she says that there's different views and perspectives. She understands that. And while she's not a, opposed to those other viewpoints, she wants more cooperation from Democrats on that. Now, final thoughts on Nancy Pelosi. Here she is on the polling of that FISA vote yesterday. The FISA bill, nobody is ever really that happy. But the fact is, we have to have a bill. If we don't have a bill, then our, our liberties, our civil liberties, are less protected. House in session today. Any ideas as to what happens next with that, if it does indeed come up for a vote? Is the speaker sounded a little like what she said with Obamacare. We need to pass it to know what's in it. The best thing that the speaker should do is actually take the advice I gave her just a couple days ago. Take a deep breath. Take a step back. It's not going to become law because the president has concerns with it. Even those in the Senate have concerns what they want, want to do as well. So why don't we work those problems out so we can make law? Every day we find something new about FISA. FISA is about foreign surveillance. But what we're finding every single day that people utilize the FISA court to survey American citizens. Wouldn't you want to get to the bottom of that before you pass something? And I think that's what's critical and why people in her own party are saying that to her as well. I know she's able to gather a lot of power, able to have 70 votes sitting in her pocket, able to pay Democratic members of Congress not for showing up for work when there's 42 million Americans who would gladly want to go to a job and work. That's the problem that we have today, that she's changing the direction and the power of this Congress, and it's not working for her. She's not keeping the promises that she made to the American public that they would be different, that they would focus on the individuals. Name me one problem that they have solved. All Why right. isn't Adam that Schiff is investigating this morning? China? Thank you. Okay. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, really appreciate you coming on with us this morning. We'll follow up with you. Thank you.